So, when was the last time I made a video? Oh. Okay, great. So I first heard about interviews with Monster Girls from my manager, and the first thing I thought was, oh boy, it's gonna be one of those trashy fan service shows. Bring out the couch and the underage anime girls. And it doesn't help that the other show he recommended was Monster Musume, which is a trashy fan service show with Monster Girls. But you know what? I'm a grown man, and I can handle another trashy fan service show, so bring it on. 24 hours later. Okay, okay, so this is one of the most expectation-averting shows I've ever seen. I went in with super low expectations, but what I ended up finding was pretty smart comedy with great characters. So the show takes place on an alternate Earth where demi-humans, such as vampires, have become part of normal society, and enter our main character, a high school biology teacher named Tetsuo. In hopes of understanding demi-humans, he conducts his own <clears throat> interviews with monster girls. So here's what makes the show good. I, I, oh. Hey guys, uh, make sure before you record audio for a video that you actually finished and saved your script. Uh, I have to go rewrite everything, so hold on. Eight hours later. So what makes this show good are the characters and their personalities. Those are the two main driving forces of this show. So I don't want to spoil too much about them, but I guess I'll just talk about my favorite character, who is Hikari. What I like about Hikari is that she's a bit of a mischief maker, but whenever she's being playful, it's sort of inclusive, if that makes sense. Her playfulness is not just for herself or her own entertainment. It's a joke that everyone in the show can be a part of, which I really appreciate. Which leads me into my next point about how well done the comedy is and how minimal it is with things like fan service. There's an entire character who's a succubus, which the whole point of a succubus is about luring people in with lust, right? Well, the joke with her is that she has to avoid human contact because of that quirk, so they make her into a sort of socially awkward dolt whose whole comedy bit comes from her odd or weird reactions to things, instead of just making it all a joke about, haha, she has boobies. Guys, boobies are serious business. Don't make fun of boobies, okay? Okay, so the best part about the show, in my opinion, is that it combines biology with folklore and explains a lot of misconceptions about demi-humans, such as why a doulahan can't cross rivers or why vampires might hate garlic. It's things like that that really drive home how interesting the writing can get and makes you think, hmm, if these were real creatures, this would actually be a plausible theory. With all that being said, I do still have some gripes with the show. These are just general complaints, if you want to say. Uh, the first one being the show's name. Uh, it's it's only Monster Girls. I'd like to see some male demi-humans. I think that would really add something to the show. And another thing is that there's uh, no overarching plot. It's just... Uh, a bunch of small plots per episode and normally I'm not into that format with action shows like uh, like Cowboy Bebop but in a shorter series like this that focuses on the individual characters it's not as much of a bother and my biggest gripe is there's not more of it Say what? Uh, as far as we know this is the end of the series so far uh, the show caught up to where the book is or manga or whatever you want to call it but uh, they leave a teaser that there might be more happening so I mean, don't do this to me, anime companies. My heart can't take it. I'm a big guy. I got got enough problems as it is, man. Come on. He shouldn't have done that. He's just a boy. Poor little fella. So yeah, if it wasn't clear already, I really do enjoy the show and highly recommend it if you enjoy a good character-driven story. The characters are really the selling point, and the topics they cover are really relatable things. Uh, things like bullying or even racism, social anxiety. There's plenty of things they cover in the show. And I especially recommend the dub if you do check it out. A Funimation handled the dub, and everyone's performances and voice direction are like spot on, dude. All the characters sound great in the dub. And uh, special shout outs to Sarah Wiedenheff. I love your work, girl. Hit me up. We should totally collab or something. I'm just saying. Which leads me into my next point about how well done the comedy is and how minimal and unobnoxious the fan service is. There's an entire character who's a succubus, which 
the point of a succubus is about lust and luring men into, you know, their sexual touches. 